We know that flood resilience is like a jigsaw, with many different pieces needing to come together to complete the picture. Natural flood management is an increasingly important part of resilience, and it's an area that Atkins have been working in for over 10 years. Louise Beale went to see two of their projects to find out more. To the untrained eye, this section of the River Wensum in North Norfolk may look like any other. Yet this stretch of water is actually very significant. It's part of the most advanced river restoration project in the UK. The scheme uses nature-based techniques to help reduce downstream flooding. Those behind the project say it also helps improve natural habitats. We've employed a lot of techniques to improve the habitat uh, condition and the habitat complexity of the river. From quite significant bed raising, where we have put material back into the channel, which was historically removed as a result of dredging activities, to much smaller measures such as creating low level berms, which just act to constrict the flow at key locations, to improve the flow character for target plant and animal communities, in line with the river's important uh, national and international designation. The project has been running for 10 years and covers over 70 kilometres of watercourse. Around 30 kilometres has been worked on so far. As part of the restoration scheme here, they've been using many different techniques, including some quite simple ones, like putting a large piece of wood into the river to change the flow of the water and create lots of different habitats around it. Here in Norfolk, the scheme has had a significant impact on the wider community too. The main aim for the drainage board with this project was to really improve the ecology of the river and to bring it for, to a more favourable condition under the Water Framework Directive. The byproduct is that through narrowing the river, we reduce the amount of silt that is deposited along its length and that actually reduces the amount of maintenance we have to do and focuses it on certain areas. So, not only is there ecological improvements, there's also improvements with our maintenance. There's improvements for the wider environment and ecology of the area, and also for um, the flood risk benefits that have come about through slowing flow in the upper reaches. The learnings made on the River Wensum are being put to use on other projects, including this recently completed one in Leicestershire on the River Saw. Here they are also using technology to monitor how effective the natural flood management features they've put in actually are. Behind us you'll see there are sensors upstream and downstream of the feature and what we're trying to understand is how that wood that you see behind you is actually slowing the flow of water during a flood. And obviously the other thing as well is we can't really get out here to measure things safely during a flood. So actually having this technology is also helping us capture much more information, to be honest, than we would have been able to do any other way. The scheme here is part of the largest natural flood management programme of work for the Environment Agency. They're hoping it will help protect local people from flooding. We're in changing times. We've got a climate emergency. Carbon has been talked about a lot more. Um, we know that we just can't keep building walls ever higher and higher. So we've got to look for other solutions. And natural flood management and other nature-based solutions are really just part of the jigsaw in what we can use to try and tackle flood risk, but also improve water quality and restore habitat as well. The River Saw project has been embraced by those protecting wildlife here, as it's close to the unique nature reserve, the Narbra Bog. Not only are we helping people who sort of live downstream in terms of be protected from flooding in the waters, the action of water, but also we're, you know, we're positively having an impact on biodiversity and wildlife and able to kind of communicate to new audiences about maybe finding out how that fits in on their land, talking with other landowners and farmers and seeing how this could be appropriately delivered elsewhere as well. The data and learnings being gathered here are vital for the future. The team hope by early next year they'll have a fuller picture of how helpful the measures have been, not just for people, but for the environment too.